Hello friends, welcome to Block Bites. Solana has seen a massive rise of 6x since the start of this year. The price of the SOL token took off from its January levels of around 10 US dollars to 60 US dollars, where it is trading at the moment. But it is still about four and a half times lower than the 2021 bull market price of 260 US dollars. Since the start of the year, Solana has been trading between 13 and 28 US dollars. It tested the resistance level of 28 dollars in mid July after it saw a nice rally from 14 and a half US dollars to a local high of 30 dollars. Still, it got a decisive pull down from the 28 levels in the same range. It was only until the third week of October that it again tested this resistance, but this time it got through and in less than a month has seen a price of 60 US dollars. There were several reasons why Solana experienced this mini bull run compared to what we saw in 2021. In this video, we will go through these reasons to be better informed and hopefully catch the next upward price action at the right time. Reason number one, the rise of Bitcoin. It is a well-known fact that the crypto market follows the Bitcoin price action. The main reason behind the price rise in Bitcoin was the news concerning the BTC spot ATM applications filed by the world's most prominent asset managers like BlackRock, Fidelity, and others. We can overlay the BTC price chart over SOL to immediately see areas where the SOL price movements follows BTCs. The same is true with the recent price rise. BTC started an upward move on 14th October, and on the 16th, SOL saw a big green candle marking the start of its mini bull run. If we so zoom in though, we see that the price rise in BTC since mid-October is far smaller than the rise experienced by Solana. Part of the reason is the difference in volatility and risk profile between the two tokens. BTC is less risky and volatile compared to Solana. On the upside, Solana will see a more considerable price rise than BTC. But were there other reasons besides this? Reason number two, renewed investment into Solana. According to the CoinShares reports, the last seven weeks have been a positive, have seen a positive investment inflow into the crypto space. Almost most of this inflow has gone into Bitcoin. Solana has also seen a surprisingly positive net growth in inflow. As seen in this graph, which is made from CoinShares reports, Solana has seen a positive inflow of investment since mid-September, which increased to 23.9 million US dollars in the week of 9th of October, and has stayed in double digits since then. This is a short, short, short sign of positive market sentiment towards Solana. Reason number three, the end of the SBF shadow on Solana. Sam Bankman Freed, the founder of the now bankrupt FTX crypto exchange, was involved in the Solana project from very early days. He had massive investments in Solana and its ecosystem. So much so that Solana used to be called Sam Coin. The crash of FTX last year did not positively impact Solana as the public started to fear liquidation of tokens in order to pay back the creditors and users. The same fears came back into the market when SBF was recently found guilty on several different counts of fraud. But this did not hurt the price of Sol because all the tokens under the control of FTX and Alameda Research are still under the vesting schedule, meaning they cannot be sold off in one shot. About 34.5 million SOL tokens will be easily released every month until 2028. Additionally, 12 million SOL tokens will unlock monthly until 2027, while over 7.5 million SOL will be fully unlocked in 2025. 
according to the data intelligence firm Zackal. So this removed the fear that many had in the market. To add to this bit of positive news, since the liabilities of FTX and its other group companies are much larger than the actual assets they control, the bankruptcy estate decided to stake part of its sole holdings in an attempt to earn passive interest on these tokens to reduce the liabilities it has. Overall, the entire turned out to be positive for Solana. Reason number four, new collaborations with institutions. Several notable partnerships happened with big name companies from Web2 and Solana. Let's look at them individually, starting with Visa. In early September, news emerged of Visa partnering with Solana for USDC and stablecoin settlements. Visa had already worked with Ethereum on the same proof of concept and wanted to expand its capabilities by integrating with Solana. Although this would seem like common business sense on the part of Visa to engage with Solana after Ethereum, what was bullish for the blockchain was the recognition by Visa that Solana provides a faster and cheaper version of tokenized settlement compared to Ethereum. Receiving such a recognition from a traditional finance company was a big boost for the Solana community, which puts it amongst a very elite group of crypto projects actively engaged in the world of Web2. Next, a new report by Standard & Charter Research made huge waves with its price prediction for Ethereum in October. But they also mentioned Solana under real-world assets as a potential competitor for Ethereum. What do Standard & Charter know that we don't? Let's find out. Solana is the top five blockchain in the RWA space. Although the individual contribution is minuscule, it is a recent entry and will grow. As you can see from this chart, Solana entered the RWA space very recently in September. Clearly, Standard & Charter feel Solana could become a decent size player in this arena. Moving on, Amazon Web Services recently announced that Solana nodes can now be easily deployed on their cloud platform, making it easy for developers looking to develop on Solana. Solana is the second blockchain after Ethereum to have been added to the AWS blockchain node runners repository. And that says something about the level of interest in AWS uh, around Solana development. Next, investment management firm Van Eyck recently made their Solana price predictions. Now they have a huge price range for 2030 ranging from a bearish 10 US dollars to a bullish 3,211 US dollars. Again, more than the price predictions, the fact that traditional finance giants are looking at Solana is a bullish indicator. Reason number five, technological advancements. The Solana Breakpoint Conference held at Amsterdam from 13th of October to 3rd of November highlighted some of the latest developments and projects built on the blockchain. Some notable announcements include Fire Dancer, a new, much improved validator client, is now available on a testlet for Solana validators to try. Fire Dancer promises better speeds, scalability, and reliability for the blockchain. Render Network moving from Ethereum to Solana. Render Network is a decentralized GPU rendering platform several animation and movie studios use. They ran into scalability and cost issues on Ethereum and migrated to Solana. The rise of gaming on Solana. Standard and Chartered in their ETH price prediction report mentioned that gaming will be a big narrative for Ethereum so it will also be significant for other blockchains. Solana is probably the best blockchain for gaming, given its high speed, 
technologies like compressed NFTs and low gas fee, all of which are required for gaming. Solana is already seeing the bulk of its transactions from gaming more than Ethereum and Polygon. Solana Labs also announced a new project called Game Shift, which can be seen as the immutable X for Solana. <clears throat> game Shift brings Web3 integration for Web2 game companies, allowing them to easily integrate with the Solana blockchain. And we also talked about the collaboration with AWS earlier. To sum it all up, we have seen five different areas that have left to the recent price pump in Solana. So let put, let's put them all in a list here. One, bullish crypto macro led by the positive news around the Bitcoin spot ETFs, subsequent price rise in BTC, increase in new investments coming into Solana according to CoinShares, the SBF saga came, come, coming to a positive end with his conviction, and the fact that SOL tokens will not be dumped into the market was also positive news. There is a surge of positive news around collaborations like partnership with Visa, Standard Tar Chartered talking about RWA and Solana, and Van Eyck's price predictions. And lastly, all, all the different latest developments announced during the Solana Breakpoint Conference. So, in a nutshell, it was a fantastic confluence of positive news, starting with Bitcoin ETFs fueling the market, to SBF's conviction, <clears throat> all the hype caused by Visa partnering with Solana, and Van Eyck's price prediction that led to the growth of new investments into Solana, and that triggered a price rise. I hope you like this video. Do like and share, and I will see you next time with another fresh bite. Bye.